Hey guys, good day to us once again, and you are here back at Dexter's World Channel. Today's video, we will go to the house of Michael because I received a call from him and he said that he is willing to sell his share of this Japanese koi to us. He needs some money so he's going to sell to us at least 1,000 Japanese koi and I am so happy because it's so timely that we have a vacant pen. You look at this pen. This pen is supposedly the place for our breeder koi, but since we already distributed our Japanese koi to some breeders here in our community, so this pen become vacant. And that is why I am going to place 1,000 baby koi in this pen. In the previous videos that we have presented to you guys, we have covered the actual breeding of this koi by means of hand stripping. And I'm so glad that we have actually made a video on it. That's why today we are also going to make an update whether or not those eggs that have been laid five days ago are already hatched. And also the Shubun cream breeders will lend to them. I believe that have also laid eggs already and we will have an update whether or not this Shubun kin have babies. So this is the thing that we can expect for this video, come on, we will go to his place, we will use the motorbike, and please be with me guys, come on. So this is the place of Michael now and we are here and we will now check our Japanese koi and we will also have an update whether this koi that we have bred earlier or five days ago have already spawned or hatched their eggs. Come on, let's proceed. Right. Let's see this Japanese koi that we will place at the pen of our house. Right. There are here, these are plenty of Japanese koi. This will reach around 1,000 pieces. They are having uniform size. And by the way, we will check over there if the eggs of our Japanese koi have already hatched. Come on, let's proceed to this tank over there. So you will see now that in this tank we can clearly see thousands of baby koi. They are just three days old and they are being fed with live food which is dapnya. You will see that they are swimming freely now and once this koi or the eggs have heads then we will observe if they will swim freely this is the time that we will introduce the first feeding and we feed none other than bbs or dapnya well in this case we are feeding bbs come on over there we will see thousands you will see this one this is an amazing koi breeding here you will see wow you see that and this is the cycle of our business we hatch koi's then we will grow them in a couple of months and then we will display them at the pet store so this is the cycle that is why i need to to collaborate with other breeders because i cannot do it by myself this is a tedious task that has to be done with persons with expertise and with too much care about breeding japanese koi and also the shubunkin fish that we have lent to them have already plenty of babies you will see this these are the babies of the shubunkin few days from now this is gonna be transferred in a bigger tank because this will cause overcrowding and also this koi once they will reach up to one week old 
some of them will be transferred in a separate or another tank to avoid overcrowding. This are the pearl scale breeders and we also have here this red cup and this calico also is very fat. This is a female calico. See this one? And this is the male moor. I said this is male because of the spots that you can see very visibly, very clearly at the pectoral fin. That's it. It's an indication that your fish is a male or a female. If you can see white spots on the pectoral fins, then that's a sure male fish. And you will see this Viking, very fat also. Wow. So guys, you can breed anytime you want because today is summer and during summertime, the breeding of goldfish is just so perfect for us here in the Philippines. This Blackmoor also has plenty of babies. Come on, you will proceed to this area where we can see the babies of this Blackmoor. So these are the babies now of the moorfish and they are so plenty over this tank and you will see that they are not using this air pump well if your tank is just shallow like this and you are just changing the water regularly you may not use your air pump so you will see that they have uniform sizes it all indicates that they are really well fed the feeding is really very important also because if we will lack food they will practice cannibalism. Some of the bigger moor fish will eat the smaller ones. So since we have so many dapnya here in our place, the breeding of this tropical fish had been made easy and successful. And we will now get the Japanese koi over there. There are 1,000 of them. And we will place that at the house. Come on, let's proceed. Guys, this are estimated to reach around 150 pieces inside in this plastic. And maybe you will ask, Dexter, you are not using oxygen. Well, you can do these things for a couple of hours, but it will not really last for more than two or three hours because during those times, this koi will really be gasping for breath. But for just two hours, they will survive even without this oxygen. We're just using the, the air, the natural air of the environment. And you will see that they are now being placed individually to this plastic cellophane. Yes, guys, we're here at the, at the front yard of our house and uh, with me is, by the way, is my son, Dexter. He has also a channel, uh, Dexter's World Junior, and 
he has a couple of videos also in his channel and he wanted to become a youtuber like his dad can you invite your can you invite our friends to also subscribe to your channel please subscribe to my channel it's Dexter's world jr and uh, we are showing many things on his channel and um, we will collaborate maybe in the couple of videos that we are going to upload in the future in the couple of days from now we're gonna have a father and son fish keeping activity well of course that would be an exciting moment for for both of us he's a fish lover and also wanted to do diy activities do it yourself activities and you can browse that on his channel dexter's world jr so that's all that we can share with you guys i hope you will continue to like and share our videos and please hit that notification bell for you to be notified of our future videos only here at dexter's, dexter's world, world.